Despite a 31 point win on the road Saturday, the Missouri football team still dropped in the latest BCS rankings. Mizzou fell one spot to number nine. One of four SEC teams in the top 10, Alabama comfortably at number one with Florida State two. The other two SEC teams in the top 10, Auburn number seven, South Carolina is 10th. Here's a look at the SEC East. Mizzou leads the way at five and one. Carolina's five and two, Georgia four and two. Tigers have a bye next week. The other two are in action. Georgia visits Auburn. South Carolina will host Florida. Those are two huge games for the Tigers in terms of what they will need to do to win the division title. Missouri fans are going to be cheering for Georgia. If the Bulldogs win out, Missouri can split its last two games. The Tigers would win a tiebreaker at 6-2, and two, either straight up with Georgia or in a three-way tie with the Bulldogs and South Carolina. Of course, if South Carolina loses, that makes things easier for Missouri. The Tigers can also just win their final two games, and that will be enough to claim the SEC East crown. The beat goes on for Wayne Krecklow and the Mizzou volleyball team. The Tigers still have not lost this season. Make it 29 wins in 29 tries. Mizzou took care of business on the road this afternoon, beating Alabama in four sets. Big showdown next Friday. Seventh-ranked Mizzou will travel to Gainesville to battle the fifth-ranked Florida Gators. Missouri beat Florida three weeks ago at the Hearn Center. And they'll meet again in Florida next Friday night. Home opener for Robin Pinchton and the Mizzou women's basketball team welcoming SIU Edwardsville. Miranda Brandt, the former Shamoy High School standout. She's playing at SIUE. Got some action today. Did not score. Morgan Stock did plenty of scoring for Missouri. Couple of early threes. She had 15 points today. 5 of 10 shooting. Bree Coolis leading the way for the Tigers with 16 points. Three of them. Going down right there, Truman the Tiger had plenty to celebrate today. Missouri wins 59 to 48. Tiger women are off to a 2 0 start. Mid Missouri high school teams couldn't have done much better on the big stage this weekend. The Herman volleyball team won its 12th state championship yesterday in Cape Girardeau. Four local cross country teams won state titles, two more took home state runner-up finishes. The Fatima Comets capped an amazing season by winning both Class 2 state championships. The Comets and Lady Comets combined to win every event they competed in this season except one, and they finished second place in that one. Three Fatima boys finished in the top 25 to earn all state honors. The girls, meanwhile, they placed all seven runners in the top 29. That's an amazing accomplishment for a state meet. Until this weekend, Fatima, they'd never won a state cross country title. Yesterday, they won two. I think our program's headed in the right direction, obviously. I mean, the kids work extremely hard all summer, and, and they're really starting to see that, you know, working out in the offseason definitely pays off uh, at the state meet. Another mid Missouri school earned a clean sweep at state. The Russellville Indians took home both class one state championships. The boys won their first team title since 1985, beating out rival Lynn, which finished second in the team standings. For the Lady Indians, this is really nothing new. The Russellville girls took home their third state title in four years, making the day even sweeter. Senior Miranda Hill won the race, taking home individual state champion honors. I don't think it's ever been done before and just our boys and girls getting first is amazing and everyone is so excited and it's just it's really fun. It's the hard work, the talent, you know, it came through today. They uh you know, they worked for a goal this year. Their goal was to be state champions and I knew they could do it. They had the talent and uh well, I tell you what, they made the school proud, they made the, the town, their parents, they made the coach proud. I know they're proud. Um, just unbelievable, unbelievable day. The other two mid-Missouri teams winning trophies. We told you about the Lynn Wildcats, second place in Class 1. The Rockbridge Bruins finished second place in the Class 4 boys competition. You can see a complete list of our local medalists on our sports page at connectmidmissouri.com.